On today's episode of Watch Jericho, I'm here with my neglected Maserati Gran Turismo that's pretty much been sitting since the last time we went on a road trip. And today, we're going on a road trip again. We gotta fix it. What is going on, guys? I am Watch Jericho, and I'm here with 100% Jake, who is just mind blown by Walker. I've never seen hydrostats, hydrostats. outside of anything you before. Know, what's funny is the hydrostat is only that little bitty section. That's yeah, the rest is just a gear reduction. Yeah, it's just, just the, it's also the wheel bearing. This carries the yeah. entire wheel setup. Nifty, right? But not, of, but not why we're here. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we are here for my, I, uh, I think it's 2008 Maserati Gran Turismo that needs its fuel smell fixed. What is this, year two? Uh, <laughs> give or take. No, I've had this thing for a little bit. It still has the gas smell. We fixed everything else on it, but after sitting for a while, it's very upset and uh, we need to fix a bunch of things. I actually don't know if we have time to fix the gas smell because we need to get on the road, but one of the things we need to fix before getting on the road is a safety issue here. So let's jump in here. So when you're driving, you're uh, ripping along, having some fun on some trails, and all of a sudden, you know, you hit a bump and the sun visor falls right down in your face and it happens all the time and it's become really annoying. Sometimes it'll kind of stay like that, but for the most part, the hinge is trash. I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on a new sun visor because it's wild for a car that's worth, you know, that's, that's probably half its value, let's be honest. <laughs> I know it's worth quite a bit more, but uh, I'm not gonna throw a bunch of money at a sun visor. So what we're gonna do here is fix it the way that you do in cars where the sun visors are falling down. We got ourselves some Velcro buttons Hey, look at that, we only need one sheet. And let's do, which way should we do it? Nice side on here or nice side up there? I would do nice side on the part that's replaceable. Right? Yeah, that's a good call. I like what you're thinking. I like the way you're saying that. So what we're gonna do is put one of the gritty parts right here and one of the gritty parts right here. <laughs> you're gonna hit the gritty? <laughs> <laughs> how do I forget how you do it. Yeah. I is it something like I that? I know the term, I don't know the dance. Look man, we're not TikTok stars. I'm not that online. We're, we don't understand the TikTok the way. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat and put the other side on here like so, just a little bit, so it's lined up. This oh, Harvard, give this man a scholarship. That's right. <laughs> this is a high-end positioning system. Okay, and then we'll just put this up here like so. Homelink even works. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's the reason I don't wanna replace this thing. I bet Homelink adds a bunch of money on a Maserati. Okay. It didn't stick. I'm gonna have to help it stick. I think our homebrew visor solution is gonna work great. Um, many of you probably wonder why I didn't use the squares or cut my own, but these look good and it needs to kind of look, it needs to look a little bit like Ferrari might have done that. And Velcro, <laughs> Velcro is a very Ferrari solution. All right, look at that. It grows from the Italian Velcro trees. That's it does. <laughs> Here in Marinello, we just get out the Velcro. They probably put most of the car together. I think a lot of the door panel had Velcro and stuff in it. Yeah, hand-picked. Yeah, hand-picked. Okay. It's not gonna fall in my face anymore. That's all I can ask for. I mean, it was a safety issue because you'd be going along, pow, just blind. So, fixed. The easiest Maserati repair ever. Oh no. And the radar detector fell down. That's not good. Use some Velcro, quick. <laughs> we're gonna Velcro. We're gonna Velcro the gas tank shut too to fix the smell. <laughs> we have another fun problem. Every time I get in now and the steering column moves itself because of course it's power, uh, the, the knee bolster falls on my knees, which is really annoying. But I found this clip stuck to the knee bolster, so I gotta straighten it out, put it back in. And while I'm doing that, Jake's gonna plug this thing in and clear the EVAP code that has returned. Because the EVAP code always returns because there's an EVAP leak. Yeah, the EVAP code there's, and a fuel smell. Yeah, there's I a fuel smell. I wonder. <laughs> so we do know exactly what it is. We're gonna put the interior back together, make it a little bit nicer, and uh, get the light off the dash, reset TPMS. And I think you have to reset TPMS on there. There is a button, but. It never works. Yeah, it's so much easier to use the scanner. So we're gonna, there it is, right? Does it's TPMS failure this time? Yeah. Airbag, airbag failure. That's oh. that seat. Oh. I'm never planning on fixing that light. No. That one, <laughs> that one can stay. Yeah. Well guys, we cleared the codes. As you know, that means the vehicle is fixed. That's just how clearing the codes works. 
We, we really don't have time to mess with the fuel tank today because I got to pull all of the trunk back apart. So we are going to jump on the road right now and deal with that when we get back. So let's listen to this beautiful thing start up. Check the tire pressures, reset TPMS. Everything should be pretty road trip ready here. And then uh, what was, I, I fixed the knee bolster too. And the sun visor. We fixed a lot of things in 20 seconds. So I put the clip back in place, snapped everything back together. Let's see how she does. Out on the road in the Gran Turismo, in cruise control, just absolutely relaxing. This thing is such a good Gran Tourer. I mean, it is literally the name of the car. It's so good that like, I keep one pinky on the wheel and maybe if we get that set up right, we can just go down the road without even touching. It's so good. And every light is back off the dash, except for passenger airbag. I'm never fixing it. There's no reason to, and it's incredibly expensive and painful out here. We just rolled over 34,000 miles. We've got five miles of two lane road just like this ahead of us. I'm gonna be relaxing for the rest of it. And then we're gonna drive into an eclipse. Should be pretty cool. Guys, we're up here in Eureka Springs for the eclipse on the Maserati. And if you can't tell already, my head is in pain. We've been out having a great time. We've got Jake's giant off-road scooter here and Jake and I's Evolve boards, but mine has a problem. For some reason, uh, since the day it was new, it's had like a dead cell in it. But it works just fine other than it's dead cell nonsense. So we went and we rode all day long having a blast with our boards. And then all of a sudden, Mine died. It's at 56% on the remote and it went click and quit. So I jumped on Jake's and he's on the scooter and I'm carrying my board. These boards weigh like 50 pounds too because they have massive batteries in them. And I make it like miles back home with his board carrying all of it, just doing so much work, carrying like, you know, almost 200 pounds, 150 me plus another 50 on it. Crazy what that thing was doing. And then there was one more hill before we got back to the house here and I wrecked and I wrecked so bad that I don't think I'm gonna do anything. I mean, I'm gonna try to drive tomorrow, but we're not doing anything else. We're not talking about the Maserati anymore. We're just talking about what doesn't look like much. This hand, my head, my arm that I can't move anymore and this hand and my knee and the fact that I went all the way through my new pants and this is totally bleeding underneath. It's, uh, it's a lot of pain. So that's the end of my Maserati video. I can lift my arm this way. I just can't lift it this way. This is just extreme pain. The worst casualty was the glasses. Oh, my Ray-Ban Metas. <laughs> Some of you guys mentioned this in the last video. They were like, I hope Ray-Ban is sponsoring you. And they're absolutely not. It took me almost three years to make this purchase. I just did not want to do it because, you know, it's, they're not that much more than normal Wayfarers. But they are, of course, the Wayfarers with the cameras in them. And they're awesome. The polarized ones too, exactly what I wanted. I finally got them. And the glasses hit the ground and they are finished. Completely done. Uh, the batteries are in the temples, so since the temple broke off uh, and it uses this crazy ribbon cable. I mean, I can, you know what? That is just the battery, isn't it? I, I can't tell if that's well, it's, 16 it's, contacts. It's got to be the battery or, and the speaker at a bare minimum. Oh, yeah. It's like 24 contacts in there, isn't it? It's done. It's it's so done. Oh, I see. It's a yeah. Ziff, uh, a Ziff connector. connector. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now it's a 0%. The glasses are still working. Honestly, shout out to the Meta Ray-Bans. I put them back in the case and it powered them back up and they reconnected to Wi-Fi and we were able to download all the videos from the day while we were out on the trail. So uh, I'll show you guys some gratuitous trail videos here. Uh, they probably don't look like anything because video always ruins it. But I mean, we were bombing down some insanely hard trails that you'd want a downhill bike for. We, we were bombing down some down. Very easy single track trails on something that should never go on single track right. trails. Right. I mean, it was, it was horrible. Horrifying. It was horrible. It was terrifying. So, and I'm strapped uh, into mine and we, I'm not used to it. <laughs> we had a day. I got, I think I even got video of you falling with your snowboard fall. I wish I would have got video of me falling because then it would have been worth yeah, it. It's, it's like the tiniest little fall ever, but now my elbow is just dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lift my arm. Meanwhile, the two wheel drive scooter was insane. The scooter was perfect. 
that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. WatchJR.com for cool shirts, not like this. This shirt's ruined. There's holes in my hoodies. There's holes in all of my clothes. I ruined every single clothes I was wearing. Every that's that's the right way to put it. There's holes in the shoes, holes in the hoodie, the shirt's black, holes in the jeans. It's all done. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. And maybe we can still get a little bit of video of the eclipse in there, but we have a lot of video of having fun up here. It just ended tragically. We've decided to do the sketchiest thing in the world. We're taking the Lord's Prayer down, back to town. You can see Jake and Amber up there. Oh man, he's doing the snowboard jumps to get around. Jake took his Evolve and put snowboard bindings on it. Oh, and now he has snowboard fallen, which is a problem. This trail is awesome! If I have to walk back up this mountain, I'll be so disappointed. Oh wow, you need a bike for this. <laughs> now this is why Jake snowboard fell. The map said this trail was gnarly. We're going hard in the, absolutely hard in the paint. My, my uh, shoe tried to go under the tire that time. I had to bail. Wow, what a descent. I don't know about this one. It's only a three stair, but full break. Here we go. <laughs> I've got all the a full articulation, man. The scooter, the scooter will do it. Oh gosh. Will the scooter's rider do it? Right. Hard to stay on these things. Here we go. I can't do a one step even. I could just send the board. Get some air. Oh. I know this may not have looked sketchy on video, guys, but it was by far one of the sketchiest things we have ever done. No traction, sliding down the hill, holding the brake. <laughs> Insane. I can't wait to come back with the mountain bikes. Don't miss. Don't miss. You know what they say, go fast, don't die. Oh, shoot. It won't go up it. Okay, forget it. I'll just send it. Okay. Hey, you made it! How do we take the trail and beat you? So the trail I ended up on is a black diamond. Oh, black diamond. It sucks to walk. Double black diamond. Oh, I can't believe we made it back to the road. Also, I think I'm just going to get off and send it. And we are back home with the Maserati after the trip, and I can't wait to get back to work on it. Unfortunately, my arm is incredibly messed up. It's pure pain. I can't really bring it over the front. I can only keep it like here and kind of up here. So it's gonna be a little while before I can actually lift it up again. So I'm, uh, I'm a little bit out of commission at the moment. But we'll get the fuel tank thing fixed and that's it. That's the last thing we need to mess with on the old Gran Turismo. What a great car. The Eclipse trip with it was an absolute blast. Also this week we have to learn how to build a garage door header, something literally no one knows how to do. Like apparently only framers know how to build garage doors. So we're about to start making the next video, which is no one knows how to build a garage door, but we have to do it because oh, we've never done it. No one we've talked to will do it. The brick guys said no. Oh well.